Five schools across the Hoosier State are struggling to find the funding for school nurses. CBS4's Lindsay Stone has a look at the resources that are available right now. New research has found despite a critical need for health services, just 40% of Indiana schools have a school nurse. Kids who are navigating poverty right now, we're finding um, that a school nurse or a school-based health center is their number one care provider. Dr. Addy Angelov has spent eight years researching how a lack of health services can directly impact a student's performance. We started a nonprofit because we've seen so many schools have a need for figuring out how do we bridge the gap between health care and academics in a way that informs academic achievement. Her research has created a new way for schools to use federal title funds to support school-based health care. It's through the Indiana Department of Education. Schools right now are getting inundated with money, money that they've never seen before. Dr. Angelom's project helps collect and analyze data so school districts can decide how to spend title funds to make the biggest impact for students. And low-income area schools, that's been a school nurse. We're finding that urban schools like the one that we're in now or any of the rural schools are really struggling to figure out how do we pay for a school nurse. It's a very fragile environment around here, the poverty and the symptoms of the poverty, you know, are expressed in, you know, the 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 uh, the children, I think. Shaquan Eli, the head of Ignite Achievement Academy, says the project's findings are helping them know how to support students as they return to the classroom. Having information like this that helps us to provide interventions and build scaffolds earlier and earlier and earlier can help us again to be able to see progress even in the midst of a pandemic. The Paramount Project is the first of its kind in the country, which means a lot to its co-founder. I grew up in Indiana. The idea that Indiana schools get to be able to have a leg up on the rest of the country is also pretty exciting. In Indianapolis, Lindsey Stone, CBS4 News. We have an update.